Hey, this is Dave. So when putting together an episode of the Industrial Revolutions, it all starts with research. And that means it all starts with reading a lot of books. So uh, I thought today I would walk you through some of the books I've been reading for the first few episodes that uh, went live. So the first one that I got to recommend is Guns, Germs, and Steel by Jared Diamond. Uh, you might already know about this book. It's been out for quite a while now, maybe like 25 years or something. And um, uh, it's a great look at sort of the scientific and geographic aspects of, you know, why were people from the Eurasian landmass the ones who went out and conquered the world? Uh, Jared Diamond goes really deep into, you know, leave, a, leave aside some of the more superfluous arguments and really focus on the uh, underlying scientific reasons that we might not otherwise think of. So that's a really good book. Another good one is How We Got to Now by Stephen Johnson. Uh, I read this um, and used a lot of the information for chapter two, especially stuff about glass. Uh, basically, he goes through six areas that uh, uh, have been innovated a lot over the years uh, to get us to where we are now. Um, Stephen Johnson's a good author in terms of uh, writing about ideas and uh, science and um, and historical science, really. And uh, he's got a pretty good podcast as well, so definitely check that out. Uh, another, I put this on uh, Instagram already, but it's uh, The Crusades by Thomas Asbridge. And um, it's not super useful for studying the Industrial Revolutions, but it's a very interesting book. I did use a little bit of it. Um, and then uh, I mentioned this in the Chapter 2 bonus episode. It's uh, The Wealth and Poverty of Nations by David Landis. Um, and this is where he kind of talks about the Great Divergence, as it's called, um, why Europe uh, got ahead starting in the 1500s and countries like China, um, you know, weren't competing um, at the same level. Here's another one that's good that I've been reading uh, lately. See, I'm uh, just uh, cracking it still. It's uh, Empire of Cotton by Sven Beckert. Um, really interesting subject so far. Uh, and then also uh, two books that really are an inspiration for a lot of what I've been writing is uh, Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. Uh, it is the one book I always recommend every single human being reads. It's been translated into like every language, so it shouldn't be too hard. And then his follow-up, Homo Deus. Uh, he's written another one as well. Haven't read that one yet, but um, Homo Deus was a bit of a inspiration for the book or for the podcast as well. All right. Uh, also, um, a lot of my books I read on my Kindle here, and uh, you can oops, you can see uh, one of the recent ones. has been 1493 by Charles C. Mann. And uh, this is a follow-up to his uh, book 1491. Uh, basically, in these books, he explores life in the Americas before Columbus and then the uh, state of the world after Columbus um, and the Columbian Exchange. Uh, a lot of that information in there I did use for uh, Chapter 3. Uh, other books that I've been reading on the Kindle are uh, The Empire of Guns by Priya Satya, uh, The Silk Roads by Peter Frenkopen, and uh, The Ascent of Money by Niall Ferguson. All good stuff. Other books that I am in the process of reading for upcoming uh, episodes, The Making of the English Working Class by E.P. Thompson, it's sort of a classic. Um, this one here. The uh, Industrial Revolution in World History by Peter Stearns. The Industrial Revolutionaries by Gavin Waitman. And uh, this one about the steam engine by William Rosen, the most powerful idea in the world. And I've been rereading this one, a little, a little uh, peek into what chapter four will be about Thomas More's Utopia. So, uh, hope that gives you a sense of, uh, you know, how I put this uh, research together. I like to 
get a lot of information uh, and then spread it out over a few episodes from each of these books. So I hope you've been enjoying it so far and uh, hope you check out some of those books for your own personal reading.